Yo, what's up? Welcome back to another episode of Two Set Violence. <laughs> Today we'll be watching some orchestral pranks. Logan Paul, step aside. These are the real artistic and talented pranks. <laughs> pranks that are good for society. I'm just <laughs> <laughs> That's so, actually clever, it's so good. Someone took the time to actually arrange Happy Birthday, but also orchestrate it. Yeah. So it goes through the different instruments. Instruments. And it fits the, the two different harmonies, right? Yeah. It's so clever. Dude, the conductor would have the time of his life. He looks so happy. Sir Roger Norrington. I don't know if they rehearsed it, but it sounds thought through. It's counterpoint. Yeah, I was gonna say so much counterpoint. Actually, counterpoint. That is a high intellectual, artistic prank. Very good for society. Next one. Can I just say that is some real piano sort of play? Yes. Like, yes. I'm, so I'm like having to turn the volume up. Dude. Pranked! <laughs> they already went for it. Yeah. Ah! That was a prank on a prank. Yes. Haydn was the original prankster, but they remixed it to be prank 2.0. How soft is that? Imagine playing orchestra. You're yeah. almost not even touching the string. Well, I mean, you play first, so let me teach you a secret of the second violence. The key is to just not actually yeah. play. <laughs> let the first two deaths play, and you just like <laughs> just... hover your bow above. Yeah. You guys get this joke, right? We don't need to explain. Yeah, you guys are talented yeah. enough. If not, somewhere in the comments. It's just asking them. Exactly. <laughs> they just went. I mean, the caption says the guy deserved it. If it's yeah. an outdoor concert, then yeah, he kind of deserved it. If it's just at a cafe, then he's technically allowed to be on the phone, right? Yeah. I feel like it's one of those like relaxed places. Yeah. But it's funny. It's still good for society. <clears throat> <laughs> That's one of the most iconic and difficult mm -hmm. trumpet solos. Yeah. And that was so smooth. I mean, it's Berlin Field, right? It is, yeah. <laughs> Dude, the trumpet carried that. It's not as impressive to me as the first one. This was just an A to B. The yeah. first one was an A and B at the same yeah, time. Yeah, the, the, the first one was like genius mode. This is more like clean, pleasant. It was just a transition. Right? Yeah, like a nice cut, cut nice tone, nice sound. But the other one was like... That's some Jordan He yeah, style. Yeah, it was the Jordan He style. Oh. I've heard of this story.
That's so Dude. good. Yeah. A fast reacting concert master in rehearsals for Prokofiev's first violin concerto. To explain the context for people that might not get it here, they're meant to be playing Prokofiev violin concerto, and so the soloist <laughs> practice very hard for that piece. An auction decides to prank him on the spot and play a different concerto, and he had about two seconds <laughs> yeah. to adapt. And, but he did it. He was and just it sounded fun. so good. That was only one second, man. How does the Prokofiev first violin concerto start? It's also auction comes in for two oh. bars. So well, that's the both perfect of them, prank. Yeah. 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 There's so many like stories of soloists being able to whip out stuff on the yeah. spot. It's but, like imagine like Mendelssohn four mil subs coming out, right? By the way, we got some really exciting plans for that. Oh, we it's gonna be so it yet. epic. It's gonna be epic. But can you imagine like on the spot you hear like the intro to Brahms on the show? Even if it was Tchaikovsky, I'll still be freaked out. It's just how good these guys are. Yeah. The bass line is so high. Oh. Yeah, David Robertson. I don't know if he still is, but he was the chief conductor of Sydney Symphony Orchestra when yeah. I was there. Oh look, Gil Shaham. Oh, nice. <laughs> That's Britain violin concerto, right? I think so. Very good for society. You even had Gil Shaham playing for you. Dude, can I just say like this moment was my favorite? And then this bit. That yeah. It's meant to be just like an inverted F major, right? Ooh, B D F A flat D. It's like a jazzy chord. Yeah, it's like it's ninth or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Something ninth. Ooh. The Gil Sharm was the only one that played the F. <laughs> <laughs> you can hear the solos. <laughs> the solos were brought Wow, that's a powerful F. You forgot they were meant to stop before yeah. the tonic. Nice, I like that good one. Good for society. Very good for society. Dude, it looks like Mark Zuckerberg. Just a thumbnail. <laughs> Mark, Zuckerberg? Mark Zuckerberg? When did you conduct? <laughs> the top comment, then he quit music. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, I will not be pranked. I'm going to create a social network. <laughs> we got pranked. <laughs> yeah. Oh, dude, that's a massive. Oh. It just seems like a lot of people. Is it Marla? Yeah, what piece is this? This is some freaking epic piece. <laughs> ah, Wagner, yeah. of course. <laughs> You ever want a whole symphonic orchestra and a choir? That's be so epic. Can I just say like that? Da -da 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 that trill in the piccolo is from the original Wagner. Ah. So these type of details really show that like, the musicians cared about it. Yeah. It's not just black or white happy birthday. It's like they mixed it into Wagner. Uh -huh. I love that bit that when the first D comes in. Da -da -da. And the, there's that suspense of like, is this prank gonna be received well or are people gonna yeah. get pissed, right? And then the conductor's like, oh, okay, keep going. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> he like kind of just went autopilot. It's pretty scary for Kentucky if something goes wrong like that. Because that's in an actual concert too, in right? In a concert, you know, like, you keep going. <laughs> that's a big commitment. Yeah.
Dude, I actually love it. So good. I also love that it's like it's not like that. It's like overlapped. Oh yeah. You know when that organ sounding thing comes in, electric organ, it's like slightly offset with the me theme. It's kind of groovy. I like it. Good for society. Good for society. <laughs> oh, that was so genius. Nah, not yet. Cadenza is where, historically, especially in Mozart's time, the performer just improvised some virtuosic stuff. It's a flex time. And then so halfway through, she goes, da 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 But then she doesn't finish the team, right? Yeah. And then you're here, she gets to that bit when she's trilling. And usually the trill is an indicator that this is the end of the cadenza, or we should get ready. And then so the conductor gets ready it to cue the orchestra. Came up. And then she goes, Nah, I'm gonna finish the. Da, 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 da. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Continue the happy birthday. <clears throat> so she pranked the conductor twice. Good cadenza. Good for society. <laughs> wow. That would be such an amazing feeling with the whole full concert hall singing along. Yeah. Happy birthday. That was, orchestra was surprisingly really together. Like with the rubato and stuff. Yeah, the brass strings all came together. That was some high quality happy birthday yeah. playing, dude. <laughs> That's it for today. These videos make the world a better place. Bonus to society. And you know what else is good for society? If everyone practices. And next time <clears throat> your conductor has a birthday, you guys can prank him too. 